Okay, leave it down. Hey everybody, today I'm gonna be showing you a wet that Aboriginal longhouse. We're just gonna enter the palisade here. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably at the DCDSB Archaeology Camp Symposium. Now, since the UOIT University, where it's being held, is a very technology-based school, I thought doing a technology-based project would be good. And if you want to check out um, or know more information about the subject, you can come visit my Bristol board with other projects. It's labeled From Past to Present, Real to Minecraft. Now the policy was here to protect the this village from other intruding villages. Now sometimes it was just a Wendat people that um other Wendat tribes, but sometimes it was a whole other tribe altogether, such as the Iroquois or Mohawk. Now the Wendat people were not nomadic. They primarily stayed in the same spot and they grew crops. Their main crops were the three ladies, the corn, beans, and squash. So they ate a lot of those three crops. Now as we enter the village, you can see a big center fire. This fire was not primarily used for cooking or warmth. It was mainly used for, I wouldn't say entertainment, more just for enjoyment as families could gather around the fire. So, we're going to enter the longhouse now. <laughs> now, as we walk in, you can see there's three fires. I can just get around this one. Now, these three fires, you can see um, wood hanging from it. These three fires were the ones primarily used for warmth cooking and all that stuff um and along the walls you can see beds um they're tw tightly packed together because the longhouses were not really made for comfort they were made for warmth and survival so they, the aboriginal people could survive for as long as possible now if you look up in the longhouse you can see these support beams um these were for hanging and storing materials there's nothing up there right now but imagine that there's um lots of dried fruits and meats hanging up there so um thanks for watching and if, um i guess that's it bye